It's a somber scene at Ashland Performance Materials in Lake Country, since news broke that the plant would be closing down and putting over 30 people out of work. And uh, it shocked a lot of people that really thought we could weather the storm, which hasn't obviously happened. And uh, a lot of people are worried about what they're going to do next. For 30 years, Kelly Brown has been a part of Ashland, working his way through the company and up to plant manager. But since the recession of 2008, Brown knew it would only take one more straw to break this camel's back. Saturday morning I got up and scanned the news and saw that the rail was gone. And then I started thinking about ways that we could work with local business people, politicians, etc. to get it back up fast and quick. And then when I started surfing the news, I also saw that Lac Megantic, the tragedy occurred. So I knew the life in rail and chemicals was going to change as well. The facility manufactures unsaturated polyester resin and gel coats. So for most employees, that means leaving the Okanagan to find work. As a chemical engineer, there's very few opportunities in the Okanagan Valley and I'll probably be considered having to travel to work. Well, a lot of guys are kind of in a daze right now. Uh, they haven't really assessed what they want to do. Some are considering maybe options of going up north. They can't see anything locally, you know, especially with the market the way it is and plus they're in manufacturing and that's decreased in the valley. The products Ashland manufactures are also used by other local companies, such as Formashape, meaning when this plant closes its doors at the end of June, other nearby businesses may be affected. We've had a close relationship with our customers, being physically close to them, but in terms of the supply chain, that should be pretty much business as usual for them. We just won't have a face on, on some of these things. Ashland closed its Toronto facility several years ago, and with the closure of this Lake Country plant, there will be no more Canadian outlets. The rest of the facilities will be based in America and other global markets. Jen Zielinski in Lake Country for Castanet News.